Pastor Patrick here, and I am on the loading dock here at Idlewild. Growing up, your very own Pastor Patrick got into trouble. He did some stuff that maybe not everybody else did, but he was more creative than some people. Like, I wonder what this button does. Pastor Patrick growing up was not always the best kid that you may know me to be now, although some of the others might say I'm not the best kid either. Like, yes, there was a time I, I may have borrowed a bus that wasn't mine and took it for a little joy ride. Um, I always thought I was the teacher's pet. That's why they were moving my desk up beside them all the time. I thought they just wanted to be around Pastor Patrick. I'm like the best kid in the class, they want to be with me. And yes, there were those times that, guys, even the policemen were looking for me and I was hiding from them. And y'all, Pastor Patrick, he did some pretty bad stuff as a kid growing up. And yet, God used all of that. Now I'm a, I'm a pastor at a church in Idlewild. And so, I want to tell you guys, wherever you're at right now, God can do great things with your life. Even if you've been through terrible stuff, he can do great things. With the Apostle Paul, he's like, y'all, yeah, I was a guy who did terrible, terrible things, but God chose to use me, and he was an apostle. He became like the, one of the head of the people who wrote most of the New Testament, and he did terrible things. So, let's learn our verse for today. All right, let's remember this. First, think of an apple core. First, Corinthians 15, wait, 10. 15, wait, 10. First, Corinthians 15, 10. But, and you know what? There's a sign for a but, apparently. It's like you have your fingers crossed and then you uncross. So, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace towards me was not in vain. On the contrary, I mean, opposite of that, I worked harder than any of them. Though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. So, that's the Apostle Paul that wrote that in 1 Corinthians 15, 10. He's talking about being an apostle and how God was so good by showing him grace that he didn't deserve. God showed me grace I didn't deserve. Let me go from doing the terrible things to being, being able to be a pastor. So, remember, but by the grace. Now, grace is like something comes down and splats in your heart. But by the grace, a splat of God, I am what I am. That's what I think of. I don't know, I am what I am, but it's, I am huh, that I am. I am what I am. And his grace, remember grace, splat, toward me. Now think toward. His grace toward me was not in vain. What that means is that it was not for nothing. Zip, zero, zilch, zero. It was not for nothing, it was not in vain. On the contrary, that means the opposite. The opposite, wait a minute, this way? No, this way. On the contrary, I worked uh, harder, Pastor Patrick's muscles, harder. I worked harder than any of them, talking about the, even the other apostles, though it was not I, but, whoop, hold on, but the grace of God that is with me. So, you got it, go through it slowly, but by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me was not in vain. On the contrary, 
I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but it was the grace of God that is with me. 1 Corinthians 15, 10.